from Texas City, Dyke, doing a little bit of night fishing. I was watching the moon phases and saw it was going to be a full moon this night. Pretty clear skies, so the moon would reflect on the surface of the water. And usually it's a good, uh, good recipe for some pretty good fishing. Usually that's a good time to go down and throw some uh, artificial light on the top of the water and get a good trout bite for the night. Didn't, didn't do too good in the evening, but I mean it was here and there, but uh, in the morning we actually started getting a really good trout bite for about an hour or so. And here you can see my most favorite catch, uh, fish to catch out on the dike, apparently from all my videos, is, is catfish. These are called gaff top catfish. You can see by that larger kind of a sail fin that they have. I don't ever keep them, but when they're keeper size I'll offer them to the people on the dock there. Usually somebody there wants them. Cast now, get set for another one. So you'll see here when I uh, get this rod put into the rod holder here, you'll see I leave the, the reel up above the rod holder just a little bit. And the line is so tight it kind of holds it there. But when the fish comes up and bites, most of the time, didn't do it on this particular one, but most of the time what it'll do is it'll release the weight out of the sand and the rod will sit down into the rod holder and kind of make a little bang noise. Kind of gives you an audible indicator that you need to look over at your rod and see if it's going off and see if you've got a fish, you know, kind of biting at the bait because not every time will you get, you know, a, a, a run on the, on the drag there to indicate it because they're just kind of playing with the bait. So when you get that reel kind of sit down in and make that banging noise, you can look over and start seeing if you, if it's uh, something you gotta check. There's another one. This is actually a pretty decent catfish. Good size right here. Get him off the hook. And I think I gave that one to the guy next to me too. So here you can see I'm just rebaiting the other two big rods. Usually let them soak for about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half if I'm not paying attention, but uh, Comment below if you can tell what is going on in this clip that is not quite right. I had a, uh, I was playing around with some of the features, and I left a checkbox check that, uh, you know, once I saw it in the final cut, I was like, yeah, that's kind of funny, I'll leave it. But comment below and tell me if you can see what, <laughs> see what I'm doing here. sun come up. It's probably about 6.30 in the morning here. I, I went out to started fishing about 10 p.m. The, the night before and did pretty good. I mean, a few catfish, a bunch of whiting and croaker and stuff. Here's another catfish coming in. Of course, after videoing some long stretches that I tried to catch some of the pole bends and stuff with, but the, the dark poles and the dark sky kind of didn't give for good video so I just left those out but uh ran the battery did so I brought in another catfish here probably comparable to the last one you saw in that last clip but like it says catfish three but the battery died so then about this must be seven seven thirty sun's up we got full sun started getting the trout bite really strong these are sand trout here that I've got little medium sized sand trout right there you always know you got a trout by that yellow mouth and them little teeth and what I'm using today I use squid a lot but today I'm using this it's called fish bites and you can see this using the green um, shrimp flavor hold up the package here. I also put a little picture of it in the corner so you can see what it is. That stuff works amazing and it stays on the hook really, really well. It's it's uh, pressed onto a mesh material and I, I usually cut the strips in half for the size hook I'm using and then bend them and just get a double hook through. 
and you will pull in all kinds of fish off one piece of this stuff so it's a good long lasting bait and and it works really well i've seen other youtubers uh even catching red drum and black drum on it uh, i caught whiting one or two catfish small catfish uh this is a croaker right here and then the uh the trout really seemed to like it I was going to put it under a popping cork, but it was working so well off the bottom that I just left it. Didn't feel like re-rigging. Took here as uh, one of the regulars on the dock, and he'll usually take whatever fish I don't want. These smaller stuff, I don't know. I don't. It's not worth my time to deal with them, but he loves them. So here we go. Let's go fishing. up of him and start off with the trout there's a bunch of sand trout that came in this one here actually fell off the hook couldn't get a close up here's the third one and brought in a whiting there and brought in just a little catfish here that's actually a hard head right there so then next to me i hear all this splashing and commotion and i grab the camera and come over here and see what these guys are doing Lo and behold, there are actually redfish out on the dike. It's not just catfish. So this is Jacob here. He's uh he's the one catching this fish. Yeah, go out and check Jacob out on Instagram at DJ underscore simple underscore J. Caught this 32 and a half inch by what he put on his post there on Instagram. And uh, caught this on a little live mullet. Of course, when they told took. That uh, they were catching a live mullet. He says, "Oh, I don't have that." <laughs> but uh, after they did their measurements, got their pictures, they went ahead and released it. It's always good to hear people releasing uh, those big drums so that they can go back in and keep the species going, so we can all have fun catching them. Well, about I don't know, 10, 10:30, somewhere in there, the the bite really just turned off, and I kind of just packed up and got everything in the car and took off and. Had a great day fishing, though. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Hit that subscribe button so you'll know when the latest videos are posted. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends. I really do appreciate all the subscribers and viewers to this channel. I love to go fishing, and I really enjoy being able to share my passion with everyone. So thank you.